I want you to see something else. How do you divide up this universe? I sat with a man who designed the shield that's been on all these spacecrafts to make their reentry. He's a scientist who's an authority on heat. As we had lunch together in New Jersey, he said, You know, this universe is made up of just three things. I believe that God has put his fingerprints on everything. The Trinity is everywhere. Then he explained what he meant. He says this universe is divided up into time, space, and matter. Can you think of a fourth friend? The very interesting thing is that time, space, and matter include everything that's in this universe as you and I know it. Then time can be divided into just three parts, past, present, and future. Can you think of a fourth? And what about space, length, breadth, and height? Is there another direction? Also, there is in matter, energy, motion, and phenomena. Those are the three divisions of the three divisions. The universe in which we live bears the mark of the Trinity. I read a book one time by a fellow called The Greatest... No, the name of the book was The Answer to Everything. That was the name of the book. Which, you know, is kind of an ambitious title to put on a book. It's called The Answer to Everything. And his thesis was that everything in this world has three parts to it. And any time you find something that doesn't make sense, it's because you're missing the third part. And his thesis was there's no such thing as a fourth dimension because the fourth dimension is reality. The fourth dimension is the sum of the other three dimensions. That fellow was going along there, and I can't recite all everything he said, but in the time and space continuum, he had three parts, time and, you know, and energy and matter or phenomena, and each one of them divided into three. And when he got off on the time, he said this. He said, well, I'll give you an example of space first. He said, all space has length and breadth and width. And if any one of those is missing, you don't have any space. Right? Can you draw a line that is all length and width to no breadth? No, sir, you can't do it. Can you draw a line that is all breadth and width to no length? You can't do it. There's no way in the world you can do anything unless you've got three parts to it. That thing will come out, look at here, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Body, Soul, Spirit. Bible written in Hebrew, Greek, Aramaic. Old Testament, Law, Prophets, Writings. New Testament, Gospels, Acts, Epistles. Overseas, Asia, Africa, Europe. This side, North America, Central America, South America. The thing is high or low or in the middle, it's heavy or it's light or it's medium. It's tall or it's short or it's the middle. There's nothing you do with that thing. That thing busts. When you go to school, the lower grades are the grade school, the junior high school, high school. Break. Junior college, college, post-grad. Three. And you join the Army or the Navy or the Air Force. But they do that thing. What? They're, they're Navy. They go to the Navy. They're gyrenes. Yeah. <laughs> you give them them boats, man. <laughs> give them them boats. I guess you know what Marine means, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you know what Marine means. Now, you've got, a, you've got an exosphere, ionosphere, stratosphere, see? I mean, you, never, you can't beat that thing with, a, with, with, a, with an egg beater, man. That thing will come through three every time. Now that thing will run, you've got the body, you've got the soul, you've got the spirit, you've got the word, you've got the deed, you've got the action. The respiratory system, the skeletal system, the other system, upper part, three systems, lower part, three systems all through. It'll come out free every time. So, what was I going to say? <laughs> I'm getting losing my track here. 